All right, guys, long time no see. Uh, it is the second week in December. Um, it's time to go shed hunt. Jake and I are gonna go out trying to shed hunt, uh, see what we can pick up. Yeah, we got the dogs with us. No, we're not in a unit that we can hunt at, so we have no worry. There's no season open right now in this area, so um, we, we brought the dogs out. We're not scared to ruin anyone's hunt or anything like that. So we'll be out here playing with the dogs and shed hunting. Hopefully we pick something up. Uh, you guys know all the normal stuff that we say. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, I know there's quite a few you guys that just subscribed to do the wolf video. And so thank you for that. And hope you guys enjoy the videos going forward. So see you guys in a minute. So I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I just now realized that I forgot the mic on top of my camera. Pretty obvious, but I don't know how I forgot it. But yeah, so hopefully the audio isn't too bad. Um, just hiked way down from the top of that. Um, that was quite a freaking jaunt. Um, down in the bottom, a lot more open. Nicer looking stuff down here. Um, we have seen a lot of elk and deer down here. That's why we're down here. Uh, hopefully we can pick up some last year's browns. Uh, we've never shed a hunter over here before. So hopefully it's a good luck first time in this spot. Um, not too hopeful, honestly. Um, it's not the type of terrain or the area that I would kind of look in for sheds. It's a little bit different. Um, I don't really like uh, jack fur clear cuts too much for shed hunting. And uh, we're basically right at the base of one on a river or a creek. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can pick anything up. Jake is somewhere that way, way over there with the dogs. I'm pretty far ahead of him. But yeah, we'll keep on going on. See if I can uh, stumble on anything. One of us will probably find something, I don't doubt it. But I just don't think we'll find the potential as many as we would somewhere else. But you never know unless you look, so get out there and look. All right guys, <laughs> I literally, I don't know, five steps that way I turned off the video camera. And then like, right as I pressed the button, I saw antlers. Um, bad news is, I can't freaking keep it. Never found antlers before that I can't keep, unless they're garbage and I just throw them away, but um, it's a deadhead, it's a nice one. Looks like a couple years old. Um, I'll turn the camera around in a second, but that's a pretty crappy part. Hiked all the way down this hole to find a freaking deadhead that I can't even take home. So, now I gotta come up with something else. Um, but, here it is guys. Turn the camera around. Oh yeah. All I saw were these eye guards sticking up. Look at that. Looks like a nice five by hoof rot side. Looks like a five by four. Um, really nice five on this one side and just a four on the other. Um, that's what happens though with a uh, hoof rot is one side will normally be uh, normal and the other side will actually uh, will actually look like garbage. <laughs> but it gives them kind of a funky characteristic but like as a show they this is the uh, fourth deadhead in the last year that Jake and I have found. Jake mostly, but this is my first one actually, which is surprising for how many miles I put on, but yeah, and all of them have a funky weird side, and it's just just that dang hoof rot 
Um, though I will say, um, I think that it has been going away. This year we have seen zero animals with hoof rot. It's been a great year. Um, no elk with hoof rot this year. Um, but that being said, I don't think I don't think elk like this one with the hoof rot. I don't think they make it through um, winters, especially if they're a hard winter. They can't make it out where they need to go, and they just get trapped. Predators hit them, or whatever happens. Um, so yeah, so I'll do some video on this thing, and maybe even pick it up for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's a stud bull. Too bad I couldn't shoot him. Uh, he's a nice one. Yeah. Hopefully Jake can get over here so he can set up the camera for me, but we'll see. Alright guys, so here he is. He's actually a 5x5. Five five. There's a little kicker on the back side of this hoof rot side. He's a nice one. It's too bad he freaking died. Didn't see him grow up. There he is. He would have been a stud. Got good genetics on this five side. Would have been a nice bull. Too freaking bad. There's a good one. Hopefully you guys can see me pretty good. There he is. See, hoof front side's always, well, People say it's the off opposite hoof, so it'd be the right side had a hoof rot. That's what people say. I can't confirm or deny it, um, but definitely had hoof rot. That's what happens: is one one side will be normal, look good, the other side will be goofy. And then we find a lot of these, a lot of these deadheads. I guarantee you had hoof. I'll look around, see if I can find. I don't know. His bones are pretty buried. It's been a couple years that he's been here. Um, yep. Cool one. And he'll stay right here in the freaking bottom. Someone else will probably find him and pick him up. Yep. He's a stud. <sighs> All right, so Jake's down here now. We're kind of putting together a game plan for how we're gonna hit all that stuff. Um, we've seen some good bulls down here. This is not one of the bulls that we have seen last year or anything. So this probably died a good two years ago. A little bit of green on the antlers. So, um, anyways, so we're gonna start gridding that way. Start doing a big old sweep that way. Try to find some sheds. I'm sure we'll find at least one or two. Probably more likely than not, just one. Um, and we'll have to hike the crap out of here when we're done. Yep. Know get rid of some of this weight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll get to it. Hopefully, show you something we can put on our backpack. Um, I'm just gonna keep saying um a million times because that's all I'm good at. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go that way. We're gonna have to go find some sheds, probably at least 80 of them. Um, show you guys that shed season doesn't end. It goes all year round. Um, you can find sheds all time of year. It just gets tougher once uh, the foliage starts growing up in the spring, but this is about the time of year that everything starts dying off and start being able to have some visibility in this uh, Northwest jungle area. So yeah, we'll get back to it. Say goodbye to this little guy and head on that way. See you guys in a bit.
So, started walking a little more. There is a ton of sign over here. Got all that. No, I didn't find one, just doing a video. All that over here is looking pretty freaking good. And across the river, it's all nice and flat in here. Lots of rubs everywhere. Lots of good sign. So, yep. We'll get back at it. Probably find something here shortly. I don't doubt it. Don't doubt it one bit. Just gotta get out and walk. There's a couple serious hogs around here. And look at this rub. We know there's a big six by six with crowns and a seven point over here. Um, hopefully find their last year's sheds. That's what we're really here for. Um, I have a feeling though that they're on this other side and uh, I don't know, have to cross a pretty big creek to get over there. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We have not found anything in a while. It's been a couple hours. We've been down this hole. Found this little road over here. Decided to walk down it in case no one had walked down it in a while and no sheds, so that's disappointing. We're gonna start making our way back up towards that way. Hopefully we stumble on something that we kind of passed over on the way down here. Um, still got some time left in the day. And Jake wants to find something. I want a shed. At least one. Yep. Harry, find a bone. Yeah, um... <laughs> what are we doing? Going home. <laughs> We're hiking back up this road. Old grade. We gotta go 500, 600 yards straight uphill to the truck. Through Jackford. With a lot of sticks. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. And from there, we don't know what we're gonna do yet. We might go somewhere else and set on or I don't know. We'll see. See you up there. We're almost there, guys. We came from way the crap down there. Below the fog. And uh now we're here, Jake's trying to cool off with the um, look. get a little ocean mist going. Really uh, yeah. cools your body temp down over here in Washington. That's how us Washingtoners do it. We use Jack for. We go up there. All the way up there. At least another four miles. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> 